Attack on Ukraine is attack on Europe, Zelensky says, pre-dawn explosions in Kharkiv. During a meeting with European leaders Thursday, President Volodymyr Zelensky framed Russia's invasion as an attack on the continent at large as he repeated his call for Ukraine to receive European Union membership. Ukrainians are defending themselves against the most anti-European force in the modern world, he told leaders on his second trip abroad since the war began. We, Ukrainians, are on the battlefield with you. While visiting Brussels, the Ukrainian president continued to request fighter jets and other military equipment. European Parliament President Roberta Metsola urged nations to offer more assistance. States must consider quickly steps to providing long-range systems and the jets you need to protect the liberty too many have taken for granted, she said. Meanwhile, air raid alerts rang out across eastern and central Ukraine early Friday. The Kharkiv region came under attack, with about 10 explosions recorded, its governor, Ola Hubov, said on Telegram. Some areas that had lost power and emergency services were working to determine the scale of destruction and whether there were casualties, he added. While visiting Brussels, the Ukrainian president continued to request fighter jets and other military equipment. European Parliament President Roberta Metsola urged nations to offer more assistance. States must consider quickly steps to providing long-range systems and the jets you need to protect the liberty too many have taken for granted, she said. Here's the latest on the war and its ripple effects across the globe. Key Developments Return to Menu Ukraine uses specific coordinates provided or confirmed by U.S. military personnel for the majority of its rocket strikes, the Washington Post reported Thursday. The disclosure reveals that the Pentagon is playing a more significant role in the war than was previously known. Russia has begun a major offensive in Luhansk centered on Kremina, the eastern region's governor, Sergei Haidai, said on Telegram. The general staff of the armed forces of Ukraine said Thursday that Russia is trying to take full control of the Donetsk and Luhansk regions. Battleground updates returned to many residents of eastern and southern Ukraine were warned of potential drone attacks early Friday. Dnipropetrovsk military administrator Sergei Lysak told people to stay away from critical infrastructure facilities, while the Mykolaiv governor, Vitaly Kim, issued an alert about drones overhead. Russia launched a massive attack on energy infrastructure in Zaporizhia early Friday, an official wrote on Telegram. The eastern city was struck 17 times in an hour, he said, the Wagner Group, a Russian private military organization run by a Putin ally claimed it has completely stopped recruiting prisoners to fight in Ukraine, according to a post on Telegram. The Institute for the Study of War, a Washington-based think tank, assessed that the group will likely continue to recruit from prisons, albeit in a much more limited capacity. Global Impact Return to Men Ukrainian intelligence intercepted a Russian plan to take control of Moldova and break democratic order in the country, Zelensky told the European Union. After discovering a Russian document that showed who, when and through what actions was going to break Moldova, Kiev immediately warned Moldova, he said. Elon Musk's SpaceX accused Ukraine of using its satellite internet service, Starlink, to power drones. SpaceX President Gwen Shopwell said that Starlink was never intended to be weaponized and that it had been used in ways that were not part of any agreement. From our correspondence, Return to Menu Russia ousts director of elite museum as Kremlin demands patriotic art. Just days after Russia's culture ministry instructed Tretyakov Gallery director Zulfira Trigulova to prove the museum's collection was in line with spiritual and moral values. She has been removed from her role. The move comes during intensifying criticism of the museum from hawkish proponents of the war in Ukraine and after authorities canceled the Moscow Biennale of Contemporary Art at the museum in.
Thank you.